Well, no, we don't have any evidence yet, but the evidence can come in the future. We have to distinguish between atherogenesis, which is plaque progression, and we know that atherogenesis is mainly influenced by risk factors, eventually leading to inflammation, but the target is risk factors. And then, in the presence of the plaque, in some patients, at a certain point in time, we have this brisk transition from instability to instabi instability. And I think this is the uh, this room for improvement. Why this transition? This is the question. Depends on the setting. Uh, I think there's convincing evidence that in prim primary prevention or in secondary prevention in stable patients, the mechanism of action is uh, uh, predominantly cholesterol lowering. But the situation is different in patients with an acute syndrome. As I told you before, when the plaque becomes unstable, well, in this setting, inflammation or reactivation of inflammation probably plays a role. And in this setting, there is good evidence from trials that statins at high doses might have, in, so, let's say, early anti-inflammatory effects, which can improve the outcome early after the acute event. Well, uh, I don't think the setting is stable in China. Again, uh, we have to test these drugs in patients with an acute syndrome because it is in patients with an acute syndrome that uh, this uh, inflammatory outburst uh, may, be, uh, may have a role in causing instability and in this setting, specific anti-inflammatory treatment might be beneficial. I think this hypothesis is definitely over. I think that what we are learning with OCT is that we have three different types of patients. Patients with plaque fissure, patients with plaque erosion, and patients who become unstable uh, with a smooth plaque. Uh, and I think that we need different treatments for this type of patients. In patients with plaque fissure, well, I think this is the subset of patients where inflammation can be particularly important and the target might be inflammation. Then we have patients with plaque erosion, or different type of patients which needs different treatments. Uh, while in patients who become unstable with a smooth plaque, probably functional mechanism, vasospasm, proximal or, or distal in microcirculation might be the mechanism of instability. And in this setting, we need still another type of treatment.